government of Germany, which resulted in the project that we are all part of. Uh, the Ministry of Dola, who were our original partners, but continue to support us. Of course, the government of Nagaland, we are always very grateful for your hospitality. Um, and of course, my own GIZ colleagues for helping to put this together. Thank you all very much. Thank you, sir, for your presence and for your wonderful message. We are also honored to have Dr. N.T.A. C. Berger, Councillor, Head of Environmental Affairs, German Embassy New Delhi, as one of our guests of honors. Then you may please take your time. Thank you so much. Good afternoon. Minister Tri Konyak. Thank you very much for the invitation on behalf of the government of Nagaland, all other dignitaries and excellencies, representatives of government, civil society, academia, studies, students, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues from GSZ and friends. We are really happy to be here with one day delay. Last year we could not celebrate um, International Bio Biodiversity Day because of the pandemic, and this year it was heavy rain who hindered us to come in time. So thank you very much for changing and making it able that we, are, that we could participate. Faraz has already nicely introduced our English-German cooperation. So my name is Angie Corinna Berger. Please feel free to call me Anna or Angie since I know that my name is difficult to pronounce. I am seconded by the BMU, um, the Ministry for Environment in Germany. I have also worked for the GIZ and I have worked for the ICI, the International Climate Initiative. And I'm very proud that one of the ICI projects supported this really important outcome that will revise Nagaland's state, state biodiversity strategy and action plan. India and Germany have been working closely together for many years to protect biodiversity, natural resources and vulnerable communities from the impact of climate change and to achieve the SDGs. As my colleague Faraz already rightly pointed out, on the 2nd of May, Prime Minister Modi and Chancellor Olaf Scholz signed this important partnership on green and sustainable development. <clears throat> they pledged that they have a strong commitment on both sides on the implementation of the Paris Agreement, the SDGs and the Convention on Biological Diversity. This year's slogan on, of the International Biodiversity Day is Building a Shared Future for All. I would like to add together. Together we can build a shared future for all life. Biodiversity remains the key answer to several sustainable development changes, challenges. From nature-based solutions to climate, health issues, food and water security, and sustainable livelihood. Biodiversity is the foundation Upon, we, upon which we can build, and we want this and we must this, upon which we can build a shared future for our life. Two of the world's 36 biodiversity hotspots are located in the northeastern region of India, the Himalayas and the indo burma biodiversity hotspots to which Nagaland's, Nagaland belongs. The indo burma hotspot is one of the environments on planet Earth under the highest threats. Thus, the launch today of the revised Nagaland Biodiversity and Strategy Action Plan is a great step towards maintaining this unique landscape and its management. The revision of the Strategy and Action Plan, making sure it aligns with the SDGs and the AK target, as well anticipating the upcoming biodiversity framework for the next decade was supported, as already said, by the ICI project Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, 
in agrarian landscape. This project is a global project. It is jointly implemented by the GSZ in India, Kenya and Tajikistan with their national partners in India with the Ministry of Donor. So <clears throat> the Indian part was the best example for the other two countries, for Kenya and for Tajikistan, of course also vice versa, but India really had an important role in that, especially in Nagaland. Nature provides the genetic material for agricultural crops. However, according to the fourth Global Biodiversity Outlook, the flagship publication of the Convention on Biological Biodiversity, agriculture is responsible for 70% of biodiversity use. 52% of agriculture areas are affected by degradation caused by inappropriate production methods. The ICI project aimed to boost knowledge on increasing biodiversity and sustainable use of ecosystems in agriculture. And the project proved that agricultural practices can have a positive effect on biodiversity and ecosystems. And especially here in Nagaland, enhanced shifting cultivation practices have the potential to promote biodiversity and ecosystem services permanently improve agricultural production and resilience to the effects of climate change. The project generated awareness and strengthened the capacity of germ optimization and intensification measures, which contributes to promoting biodiversity and ecosystem services while ensuring food and livelihood securities of the farmers. The project engaged and engaged in a constant exchange between practitioners, scientists, academia and policy makers. Frequently, the deepest knowledge is found in the communities of the most vulnerable. The project was able to give them a voice to learn and to teach while improving livelihoods and feeding into policies and national agendas. At the same time, scientific support ensures appropriate measures for long-term impact. It is an intersectional approach and the constant dialogue that can further and root our impacts appropriately and sustainable. Also, this project will come to an end by the end of this year. I'm happy that we have a new upcoming IPI project. It's called Protection and Sustainable Management of Aquatic Resources in the Northern Eastern Himalaya Region of India, NIRAC, also funded by the German government and implemented by the GSZ. And it will continue its efforts in the Northern Region of India in the states of Nagaland, Meghalaya, Assam and Manipur. At the end of my speech, I would again like to thank the government of Nagaland for inviting he, me, my colleagues from the GIZ for supporting me, especially Kenneth, who made sure that everything went so smooth. And um, Kiki, I learned that she was the, the mastermind here. Yeah, thank you so much. And um, I wish us all a very successful event. I heard that this morning already went very successful and continued cooperation between India and Germany. And together we can build a shared future for all life. I thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for the enlightenment. The Turks people, as guests of honor, is Sri James Bonson Bonkaro Samba, Honorable Minister for Forest, Environment and Climate Change, Megalia. Post his speech through a video clip, for which I